Hey guys, for this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide um, two polynomials using long division. I tend to use long division if the linear term that I'm dividing by has a coefficient in front of x um, that is other than 1. If this is a 1, I use synthetic division. Um, but to use synthetic division for this, I would have to divide everything by 3, and we'd have some ugly fractions. Um, and I know that a lot of people don't like to deal with fractions, so let's look at how we would do this using long division. In long division, um, the dividend goes underneath the division symbol, the divisor goes on the outside, and the quotient is your answer up here. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to look at this to make sure first that this goes in descending order of exponents because if it doesn't go down 3, 2, 1, 0, um, then you're going to have a problem and you're going to have unlike terms, so you have to add zeros for any terms that are missing. This one doesn't have any missing terms, so I can just write it as is. Once you get it set up, you're going to do the same thing that you did in elementary school where you looked at the first term to figure out how many times it goes into the um, first part. So I'm going to look at the 3x and figure out what would I multiply 3x by to get 3x cubed. In this case, um, 1 times 3 would give me 3, and x squared times x would give me x cubed. So I'm going to multiply by x squared. When I come down here and multiply, I have to multiply both terms. So I'm going to do x squared times 3x, which gives me 3x cubed, and x squared times negative 10, which gives me negative 10x squared. And remember, with division, what you do is you multiply and then you subtract. So our next step would be to subtract. Well, when I subtract, I have to change the signs. So if I simplify this, the first term will cancel out, and I'll be left with 30x squared. And then I bring down the next term, the negative 85x. And then I repeat. I figure out, okay, what would I multiply 3x by to get 30x squared? So um, 30 divided by 3 would be 10. So I know that I'm going to need a positive 10. I have an x squared, and right now I have an x, so I would need one more x, which is why we have to have the like terms. That's why you have to add places if you're missing terms so that you'll have like terms when you distribute. So 10x times 3x gives me 30x squared. So I'm just multiplying this number up here by this number here. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take the 10x and I'm going to distribute to the negative 10. So when I do that, I get negative 100x. And then remember, our next step is always to subtract. So when I subtract, I change all of my signs. This cancels out, and I'm left with 15x. And I bring down the negative 50. So this is the last one that I would have to divide by, so I'm going to look at this and figure out, okay, what would I multiply 3 by to get 15? And that would be 5. I don't need an x on there because I just want 1x. So 5 times 3 would give me 15x. And 5 times negative 10 gives me negative 50. When I subtract, this gives me 0, so this one has a remainder of 0. Um, I really don't even have to write that because we don't write remainder of 0. Um, that means that 3x minus 10 is a factor of 3x cubed plus 20x squared minus 85x minus 50, um, since there is no remainder, which means that if I solved this equation, x equals 10 thirds would be a 0 of this polynomial. So if you end up with a remainder of 0, then the term that you're dividing by is a factor. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know.